Welcome to Arson Girl Plays. Please subscribe and ring the bell. That way you won't miss out on my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to Arson Girl Plays. I am back in Club Roblox today and I am taking the nursery school from a nursery to a single family home as many of you have requested me to do so here it is uh, i hope you guys enjoy this if you do make sure to thumbs up this video if you want to see more house builds make sure to give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments because i love doing them and i'm happy to do them for you guys as well as for myself so anyway uh what i did is i took our new nursery house that we got last week and i took it from a school to cool <laughs> just kidding but not really i mean it it, it, I did. I decided to turn it into a two bedroom, two bath house, and it is fit for a family with at least two or three kids. And it came out so good. I can't wait to show you all of the process. But uh, what I'm going to do first is let you see me empty out all of the house, and then I will put everything back in, it's all sped up, and then we'll take a tour together at the end of the video. But this is the whole house. If you haven't ha if you haven't bought it yet, this is what it looks like. And we're gonna empty it out, we're gonna turn everything white, and we're gonna start with a clean, fresh slate. For me, the ultimate goal at the end of this build is to have an ultra modern, open concept, family home in this nursery school space. I based the whole build around this fabulous, fabulous ceiling that they built in this house. I want to see more houses of the ceiling. I'm obsessed with it. And if this is the route future builds in Club Roblox are going to go, I am all in and I want more houses. Okay, so it's emptied and now I'm adding some walls because I'm going to turn that kitchen area into a master bedroom with a ensuite bathroom and closet that will also house laundry facilities and I'm going to make it all kind of blend together. I know that uh, a lot of the times I build houses and the colors tend to be very similar from house to house and that is because I really like to do very classy, clean looking houses and we don't have a lot of wall wallpapers or matching colors for the walls that we put into the build that I can use. So I tend to go with things that look good together and that I can match because ultimately I want it to be a house that I would want to live in and maybe you would want to live in or at least nothing else your characters and their families would want to live in. So that's what I'm going for. And you guys, I'm not going to talk through this whole video though. I'm going to let you guys sit back and watch. If you have any questions about how I did anything, ask me in the comments. I'm very happy to answer them for you. And uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead, watch this together, and then I'll be back to take you on a tour in just a few minutes. Enjoy!
Oh, I hope you love that build as much as I love building it. Let's take a tour. So when you come in the front door, you have this nice little seating area by the fireplace. You can sit and listen to somebody play the piano, just stay warm by the fire, hang out with your pets, your babies, whatever. This is just kind of like the chill zone over here. Then as you enter into this open concept area, we've got a pool table so we can enjoy ourselves. We're having a party, shoot some pool with our friends. We've got this giant open concept kitchen with a huge huge island plenty of seating I think there's seating for six people if not more at the bars alone and then I've got the little eating nook over there with seating for four so I mean there is plenty going on for everybody and then we put in this bathroom this is kind of a guest slash family bathroom so the babies have a place to get washed and fulfill their needs to help them grow up big and strong and I use the black and gray tones everything in here I tried to do with the blacks and the grays except the kids room because I wanted the kids rooms to like kids room to pop um, here is the hidden computer lair I fancy the person that owns this house being kind of like a mad computer hacker person who's just kind of hiding out in their little hidden room you have to know is there in order to find it and over here on this side of the house are the two bedrooms. So this is the master bedroom for the parents. We've got a little cat tree in there for our kitties or flamingos or whatever pet you choose. Uh, and then a little seating area so mom can hang out and get away from it all. And of course, there is a little ensuite bathroom so they don't have to go across the house to use the bathroom. Tucked away laundry in their closet so that mom can get everything done. Or dad. I have more equal opportunity around here. Mom and dad can do laundry. And the room's just kind of like a retreat. They can get in there and they can kind of just shut down and relax after a hectic day of taking care of kids. This room is set up for a boy and a girl. So I assume like a young boy child and a baby girl. And so there's toys that they'll both enjoy. The room's kind of divided. I use that dresser at the end of the bed to kind of divide, like kind of give your eye a division to the room. And uh, that way we can have a little bit of pink in there along with the blue. And I left the lights that were here on the ceiling because they were so beautiful. And I just turned them white so they'd pop. And then out here, this is the retreat. So we've got a little garden off to the side where you can harvest some vegetables or fruits and make a little money. We've got a outdoor kitchen area with a fridge and ovens for making pizza. We have major parties in the backyard. Little play area for the kids in the shade of the tree. I just love it. And I planted some grapes because I figure the people that would be living here would be harvesting grapes for their own wine. Maybe they bottle their own wine. I don't know. But <laughs> I hope you like it. This house is designed to be fully functioning for a family. It is ready for parties, entertaining friends. Uh, if you liked you guys, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. Let me know you want to see more. And I am sure to bring you more, more, more Club Roblox house builds and otherwise. Until next time, you guys. Bye.